You toss your plastic bottles, your metal food cans, and your cardboard boxes into your blue recycle barrel every week, and you always make sure to roll it out to the curb by 6 a.m. on your scheduled collection day. But have you ever wondered what happens to your items once the recycle truck collects them? Well, today we're gonna to take you on a quick glimpse to help answer that question. Each recycle truck can collect on average nearly 1,000 barrels per day. Once the truck is full, it's time for it to head over to a materials recovery facility, or what we call a MRF for short. What is a MRF? Think of it as the middleman that helps connect the dots between those wanting to recycle, like you and I, and those wanting to make new products out of recycled materials, like a paper mill or beverage producer. So now let's take a look at what happens at a materials recovery facility. In order to begin the recycling process, items have to first be separated into their specific category, paper, glass, plastic, and metal. When a recycle truck arrives at the MRF, it dumps the collected recyclables in a holding area. The material is then pushed onto a moving conveyor belt and the sorting process begins. Using a series of automated machines, the items are separated. Special magnets pull out metal cans while optical sensors identify and capture plastic bottles. Cardboard, paper and glass is also sorted as it makes its way through the conveyor system and passes through special equipment designed to pull these items from the line. There are also people who work at the MRF that help with the sorting process by separating items that the machines may have missed. Because of the use of advanced recycling technology, a MRF can sort and separate approximately 20 to 25 tons of material per hour. However, placing non-accepted items into the recycle barrel can cause major damage to that equipment and bring it to a halt. Take plastic bags and wires, for example. With lots of fast-moving parts, Plastic bags, including plastic packaging like you find on cases of bottled water, and wires, such as light strands and hoses, become tangled in the machines and cause them to break down. It's no different than getting something stuck in the spinning brush on your vacuum cleaner. So please remember to never put these items in your recycle barrel. Here's a helpful tip. Plastic bags should be recycled at your local grocery store. By recycling them there, the bags are able to stay clean, which significantly increases the recycling potential and value. The retailer bails them at their warehouse and sends them directly to a plastic recycler where they can be made into something new, like clothing or plastic decking. Also, don't forget that your recyclables should always be loose, empty, dry, and relatively clean. Unfortunately, the machines can't open or sort bagged items which means that any bagged recyclables will end up in the landfill. Remember, it's not only important to recycle, but to recycle right. Placing non-accepted items into a recycle barrel can actually have a negative impact on your community, both from a financial and sustainability standpoint. Here's why. Under the City of Mesa's recycling contract, our vendor can refuse contaminated loads or impose substantial penalty fees. That is money that could otherwise be invested in our community. Once the items are separated, they are compacted and baled, so they can be loaded onto a semi-trailer truck and transported to a recycling facility where they can be recycled and made into new things. Thanks for coming along with us on a behind the scenes look at the recycling process. For more recycling information, visit mesarecycles.org.